Here we go. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Uh, 934, Ask the Expert with uh, Duchenne and Poitras Dental Center. We do have a few questions to get to. Uh, so our first one comes to us via Twitter, and it's a common question, but one that you don't mind answering. Uh, this is a question from Janet. Is it best to use a medium or soft toothbrush? I know the answer. What is the proper answer? Well, the proper answer is a soft one. And why is that? Because um, the uh, medium and hard one, they used to wear the teeth. Uh, lots of people has um, around the gum line area, like a wear, like the, the teeth are, are grinding in. It's because they're brushing too hard. We basically have to not pushing on the toothbrush. It's more like the motion of the harm yeah. than the actually pressure with with it. Uh, we 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 usually say like, can you hold your toothbrush with two or three fingers and do it? It's or not use your thumb. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because uh, I was the yeah. the hard uh, brusher, oh, yeah. and if you take your thumb out of the picture, it's it's tough to white knuckle brushing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're not pushing so hard all yes. the time. And it's the gentler you are, the better, right? The gentler you are, and the motion is always up to down going up and down for the top one yeah and then way below and up, up. away from bottom the to top top, away top from to bottom the bottom to top yes right? Against and the gum this is away not away. good no the horizontal motion I mean is everybody not good. does it but it's not the best way <laughs> yeah. to go about it you don't. Well, you don't what about um, does anybody floss anymore Yes, there's a lots of um, more and more, more and more, yeah, because there's a lots of tricks and uh, things out there. Like you can see the little fox forks to use with the floss already. Little forks. Yeah, yeah. thread in um, for the kids. That's right. They're they, fun they, you and got nice. all kinds of different yeah, kinds different of kind of stuff. Yeah, and, um, yeah, and uh, and you should be gentle as well when you're flossing, right? No matter what you're using, be it there. Everything is gentle. Yeah, just don't be floss. careful. As soon as you have a contact between two teeth, you should clean. Okay. A teeth has five surfaces, right? Yeah. Uh, and beside it, on the, the, the buccal side, and on the top it. Two so you gotta clean. Between. Yes, you yeah. gotta clean everywhere. Yeah, and you guys, uh, you know, when people come in, what they've been up to. Believe me, the dental assistants all know, and they go to clean your teeth. You can't fool them. Yeah. No, right? sometimes you they know? come and they yeah. say, you can say, well, I've I can been say, yeah, I've been flossing yeah. regularly, and they'll be like, yeah, no, yeah, no. no, no. <laughs> Uh, we have, uh, is this an email? Yeah, uh, email question coming in. Uh, Shannon says this, my daughter just turned six and has uh, all four molars coming in at the same time. Are these permanent molars and would you advise they be treated to help prevent future cavities and staining? So first of all, are these permanent molars at six years age? Yeah, uh, behind the baby teeth, new adult molars come in. The baby teeth are replaced by premolars around 12 years of age, 11, between 10 and 12. Right. Uh, so whatever is growing behind the baby teeth at six is adult molars. Adult molars will take a while to get into their mouths completely. Right. And then we recommend sealants. Sealants are like a, a little resin that's put into the grooves of the teeth. So that's what she means by treated? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's how you treat them. Yeah. You protect the grooves because the grooves sometimes are deep inside those big molars. Yeah. They can't get the food out, cavities can get in though. And with the sealants, it, it seals up the grooves so they're not as deep, the grooves. Right. And uh, there's fluoride releasing in, in that. Uh, so, and water. easier to get material out of there. Yeah. 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 Right? And nothing and, goes in. And, and we'd like cavities. to remind the parents that the kids do not have a proper dexterity until they're 10 years old. So they need supervision to brush right. their teeth. Specifically that at six years old, it's very far back. That first big molar is very far. Oh, really? So, oh, yeah. So you get, you have to, get, to have the parents to get in there yeah. and go and clean it. We just had another email question come in. So let's have a look at that and see. Uh, this is from Jim. I'm uh, having some issues with my breath. I brush regularly, but I still seem to have uh, some odor issues. I think it may be halitosis, but don't know how to treat it. What can Jim do? When it comes to your breath and halitosis, that's uh, something you, you must run yeah, into well, all the time. Um, you can, uh, it's certainly the most important is to brush your teeth, but you can also brush all around. Cheek, your gum, tongue. tongue go far sometimes you have a palate yeah i have a hard time brushing my tongue yeah but. to get everything <laughs> just, uh, all the bacteria uh, <laughs> out uh you'll see your tongue what about mouthwash mouthwash do you recommend mouthwash listerine or nothing why do you say that 
uh, scope just masks bad breath. Listerine actually kills the, ba the bacteria. So you're so actually... It's actually true. It's is not it? false advertising. Listerine does work. Uh, but there's alcohol in Listerine. Now they have a Listerine Zero. Not as good, but it doesn't have what alcohol. What about the whitening ones? That's... Bologna? Well, yeah. <laughs> that's the right word. <laughs> is it really? It, yeah. It, it, whitening means more abrasive. Like whitening toothpaste, uh, toothpaste don't whiten your teeth. They're just more abrasive. They wear your teeth down more to take the staining off, but they don't actually bleach your teeth. Bleaching is just bleaching. So and mouthwash, Listerine well, mouthwash, but not the whitening kind. You can also look for the logo, you know, the association where the product is approved by the dental association. I, I think Crest do uh, nice. Crest and Colgate. Are, do yeah. nice product too. But just look and make sure they're approved by yeah. the Don't get the knockoff too soon. No. Now, with the halitosis really quickly. Yes. Uh, systemic reasons. Some people have gastric reflux. Yep. Uh, creates bad breaths, it could be diabetes, it could be a lot of things, so go with you. So go to your too. doctor? Yeah, get that yeah. Uh, checked out everywhere. Okay, we're out of time. There's uh, how you get to, in touch with Deschenes and uh, Poitras Dental Center. They're in Stittsville on Main Street there. Uh, visit uh, visit our dentalfamily.ca as their website. There's the phone number. Feel free. Go on the website, get more information, call, ask some questions, make an appointment, and yeah. find out more about your dental situation. Thanks very much, you guys. Good Thank to have you here. We'll okay. see you again next time. Uh, coming up on 941, 19 minutes away from 10. We'll be right back.